Hey YouTube, how are you? Hey boys, well, I'm just off on one of my road trips. Uh, yeah, on the Gateway Motorway now and heading towards Old Cleveland Road and then I'll head towards the bay side of Brisbane and we'll see what happens. I'm at a bayside suburb of Wellington Point. So here I am parked. Oh, I'm not sure what this park's called. But I'm gonna go for a walk across King Island, Aroban. Now you can only walk this on low tide. Now the tide is going out. It's about two kilometers, what you see there. To here. It doesn't look it, but it's about two k's. Probably take me 15 minutes to walk it. Go across and have a squeeze. So I've started my journey, walking across. It's a fair way. You look at it, you think it's not that far, but think again. You can see the sandbar, but the tide is going out. I've been walking here for five minutes. That's what I've done. But I'll see you when I get there. Okay, here I am. Conservation Park. Can't have any fires, can't camp. So this is the island I'm standing on from where the car is. And like, it took me a good 13 minutes to walk it. I'm not a slow walker. If you're going to do this make sure you've got plenty of water if it's a hot day as there's no taps here there's no toilets there's, yeah, there's not much on here by the looks of this where the tide comes up to to about here That is pretty low the tide. But how awesome would it be to camp here? Usually if I lived up here when I was a kid, I probably would have come out here with a tent. <laughs> Slept here. Because this would be really, really awesome. To actually camp here overnight. I reckon someone would have done it too. And that's it, I'm on the other side of the island. So yeah, it's not very big. Back around the other side, and that's it. It's pretty small. There's not much here. It's just good to come for a walk. So yeah, just remember there's no toilets, there's no water, nothing. <laughs> there's no McDonald's, no eating facilities, nothing. And there's, well, that's probably Birkdale there. I'm guessing Birkdale over there. And it's Wellington Point over there. But anyway, really nice day today. It's 25. Very nice for a winter's day, that's for sure. Really, really nice. And this is it. It's back to where I came in from. And that's the island. Okay, I'll leg it now back to the car. Yeah, so I'm back from my walk. And there's Wellington Point Recreation Reserve. So yeah, can't really stay here through the night. So I'll have to, um, I've got a spot picked out tonight, but we'll see. Okay, viewers now, I'll give you a bit of an update in the van. So, as you know, or if you've been watching my channel, um, you'd know I've put another solar panel on the roof of the vehicle so this is a 500 watt trainer panel okay i'll show you now my controller okay i'll just get underneath the bed here and i'll show you i'll just 
This is my new sleeping bag, by the way. I got it from Snowy's. It's a Coleman C minus 12. Now this thing is very, very warm. Really, really good. It's something used for winter. But anyway, I'll get under the bed now and show you the controller. The Trina solar panel it comes down to the 50 amp Victron 100 volt solar controller. I upgraded this. I did have a 20 amp. I end up upgrading to the 50 amp. I probably would have done with the 30, but this was, wasn't much more in price to go the 50 amp. So I went this one. Okay, and then it just goes from the solar controller, goes to my battery. Well, actually goes through the shunt to my battery. And as you see there, the battery's 100%. So, yeah, so there's bugger all coming in at the moment because the battery is charged. As you see there, it's nothing. Producing nothing. Nice day, but nothing's getting produced because the battery's full. Now I end up replacing my DC charger. I had the Renogy, the 50 amp DC charger with the MPPT controller. I end up getting rid of that because the um, MPPT played up. I end up going this one. This one was on special at the time. This is the 40 amp. The inverter, still going. It squeals, but it's still working well. Now, Renogy are shocking for customer service, but if you've got a product that works, they are pretty good. If you get one without any problems, happy days. But yeah, other than that, they can be a nightmare to deal with if you get a faulty unit. My slim inner core battery has been going very, very well also. So this is fully charged. The other DC charger wasn't much chop. It was the um, Renogy, but it wasn't much chop at all. The DC works on it, but it doesn't put out 50 amps. No way it does. The King's oven been going well, no problems. And the fridge. This 20 litre fridge is awesome. It really is. It's, um, you know, the 15 litre I had struggled in the heat. This one doesn't seem to do that. It, um, it's been pretty good, this one. Really good. This thing's been running ever since I got it. I will do another video on this when it's a year old to let you know how it's going. This cheap jug from eBay has been going great. I've had this for years now. Ever since the Bajero, I've had this jug. It's been going very, very well. I don't use the pressurized water that much. It's just great for extra water. But um, if I need to pressurize it, I just hook the compressor up, pressurize it, and then use it. But I haven't really used it that much at all, to be completely honest. So yeah, they're very reliable, these vans. Really good. Yeah, and the highway, yeah, cruiser is about 90. It's a bit noisier than the high ace, but in reality, if you're looking for a cheap van, you can't go past one of these. These are really, really good. I've just had a good run with it. Look, I've replaced the battery in it. Okay, I had my coffee, had a sandwich, now I'm going to head off. I'll probably head over to Cleveland Point and we'll check it out there. Okay, here I am at Cleveland Point. So I don't know I'm going to go tonight. We start the road tonight. This is where I was thinking of staying. I've come down here a few times, really early in the morning, and I've seen vans here. It's quite a nice area, this, Cleveland Point. Got like a lighthouse here. Yeah, can't believe the amount of people here for Monday. They got like a restaurant over there. And the tide's out now. And yeah, got your Barbies here. There's plenty of room. I'm just gonna chill out now, lay down in the bed and look at the water. Yeah, so there's my view for the afternoon. 
I might have a bit of a kip. Okay, I had my afternoon kip. Yeah, all the cars before, now look at it. It's absolutely quiet. So a few people traveling alone, females traveling alone. Here's an item I picked up on eBay. This will probably interest some people. Now, this is called a cattle prodder. This will give you 4,000 volts electric shock. Authorized personnel only get, anyone can be authorized to use it. Very simple. It comes with batteries. I think they're two AA batteries inside. If you are asleep in your bed and someone happens to break in to your van, have it within reach. It's something you can grab hold of quickly. Okay, you've only got to turn this on. That's just on the person, right, pull the trigger. And believe me, this thing packs a punch. It's probably worse than an electric fence. If ever, anyone's felt an electric fence shock before, this is probably worse. I've done it myself and it, yeah, it packs quite a punch. So yeah, just something for a bit of security. There's that lighthouse lit up. Uh, decisions, decisions. Pretty much there's no one else here. There's other cars, but they're going. I'll see what happens about 10 o'clock. Yeah, just the boat ramp up the road had a couple of vans there. It might be a bit safer to go up there. It's pretty deserted now. As I end up coming up to the boat ramp, there's a big parking area here. There's a van over there. There's one over there. I'm just going to stay here the night. Another van over there. There was just nobody at that Cleveland point. I'll get some sleep and then I'll get up early and I'll go back to the point. Good night. Okay, good morning viewers. Okay, 4 a.m. I'll head back down to the point and make a cup of coffee and I'll go down and watch the sun rise. Here I am back at the Cleveland Point. And nobody stayed here last night. Nobody, no cars. There are no vehicles here. So yeah, the sun's up. I've had three coffees so far. Beautiful morning. Okay, viewers, I might have some noodles. And then enjoy the rest of this sunrise.
Hey, okay, viewers, I hope you enjoyed this video. Till next time, see you later. We've got to go home back to reality. Take care.